Hello, welcome to another edition of Conspirator Books Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of November 1st, 2017. Yes, 2017 is almost over. Uh, so let's get right into it. It's actually a fairly light week this week, um, book-wise, um, because November uh, has five Wednesdays in it. Uh, so it looks like things might get spread out a little bit. But uh, still a decent amount of books and still a fair amount of really solid titles. Um, so yeah. So first up we have... Bane Conquest, number 7 of 12. Um, I've already read it. Um, got a chance to read it today. Uh, it's okay. I mean, the Bane story, uh, Conquest story, has been okay for the most part. Um, is it something that I'm like, oh, you need to go out and read it? Nah, if you're a Bane fan, it's cool. But overall, um, I think it's just meh. Uh, so... I'll finish it up, but uh, definitely going to purge it when um, I'm all finished. Uh, next up is Batman number 34, continuing the rules of engagement. Uh, I have not yet actually had a chance to read it, but uh, I really liked issue 33, and Tom King's just been doing a fantastic job on Batman, uh, so I look forward to it every week, uh, or every every time I get it. So uh, Next up we have Batman the Devastator from... Uh, Dark Knight's Metal, um, this is the metal tie-in for this week. Uh, I've been really enjoying the tie-ins. Um, uh, the, they've all been really solid, solid books, so I can't wait to see what uh, the Devastator has in store for us. More Batman. Uh, we have... Uh, oh, wait. I can't forget this one. Uh, we have um, Batman the Dark Prince Charming, uh, which is a hardcover, basically single issue. Um, I've actually been curious about this, so I went ahead and picked it up, uh, but yeah, this is out today, so if you were curious about that, snag it up. I don't necessarily know if stores are going to be ordering it in droves, um, it is kind of like, uh, it's twelve ninety nine, so, it, but it's hardcover, it's basically like an oversized issue, um, but there's going to be two, so this is the one of two, so looking forward to seeing what it's all about. More Batman, and that's Batman White Knight number two um, by Sean Murphy. Uh, really enjoyed issue one. Cannot wait to read issue two. Uh, if you have not picked up uh, White Knight, you should. The second prints of uh, issue one should come out today as well. Uh, so if you didn't get a chance to get a copy of the first issue, grab that second print and an issue two and dive in. It's awesome stuff. Uh, next up we have Black Lightning Cold Dead Hands. Uh, this is the first of six. Uh, I love Black Lightning. I think the character is interesting. Um, he's part of the Outsider, so I'm already biased towards him. Uh, I really enjoyed the issue. It was really good. It was a good, solid first issue. Um, and uh, I'm actually really excited for the CW Black Lightning show that's coming out as well. So, uh, yeah, if you're curious about Black Lightning, I would recommend picking it up. Um, yeah. Uh, next up we have Dastardly and Muttley, number three of six. Uh, this book is weird, it's odd, and um, I'm debating whether or not I should issue four, five, and six, but we'll see. Uh, next up we have Green Arrow 34, uh, trail, <coughs> Trial of Two Cities. Um, Percy's just been doing an amazing job on Green Arrow. I really enjoy it. Uh, this issue was fantastic, um, and I can't wait to see what happens next, uh, which is basically what you want with single issue comics i can't wait to see wait to see what happens next uh next up we have green lanterns 34 uh this continues the work release story arc um yep yeah, it's good i've been enjoying it um i actually really liked that issue it was fun fun stuff so uh if you're curious jessica cruz and simon boz as green lanterns is amazing um so yeah next up we have harley and ivy meet betty and veronica two of six um it's really weird to read this book because Harley and Ivy are at a costume party where Betty and Veronica are dressed up as Harley and Ivy. And so, yeah, and then Zatanna comes in there with Sabrina and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. But it's good. I like Harley and <laughs> Poison Ivy. So, yeah, I'm a sucker. Uh, next up we have uh, <clears throat> num new number one from DC and that's The Jetsons uh, by Jimmy Palmiotti. Uh, I really enjoyed this issue. Really solid first issue. I like the the Jimmy Palmiotti's take on the Jetsons. A really solid story going uh, with issue one. Uh, so if you if you like the Jetsons or want to try something new, I do recommend Jetsons. It's great, great stuff. 
Uh, next up, we have Justice League number 32. Uh, this is the metal tie-in, uh, continuing the Bats Out of Hell story arc. Um, if you're getting this tie-in, it's uh, connecting covers with all the tie-ins of in Ethan Van, Ethan Van Skyver artwork. Um, so this is the second part of the big um, print. I'm excited. It's metal. Metal's been great. I can't wait. Next up, we have Lazarus, number four, or X plus six, six, uh, number four of six. That's a lot of sixes. Um, I, Lazarus is good. It's a really slow burn, but I've really enjoyed it. Uh, Rucka does an amazing job on the book, so, yeah. Uh, next up, we have the Shadow Batman, uh, number two, from Dynamite in DC Comics. Uh, this basically just kind of continues from the Batman Shadow that DC put out first, um, so I'm curious to see where it goes. It hasn't been bad. I've been enjoying it. So, uh, and finally on my pull list, we have Superman number 34. This continues the Imperious Lex story arc. Um, Tomasi's just been doing a fantastic job with that book, and I can't wait to dive into the next issue. Um, but the trades are out of the early stuff of these, so I would recommend going back and picking those up if you're curious. So... Ugh, excuse me. A bunch of variant covers. Um, these first two are from that were shorted. Um, actually, one is a main cover, but uh, we were shorted the Batman 33 variant, so I finally got that. Finally came in, so I picked that up. And then um, we didn't get enough copies of our Flash 32 regular variant or regular cover, so I got that one. Um, and then now we have all of the variants for this week. Uh, first up, we have Batman 34, a nice Tony Daniel one there. These are the Justice League variant covers. Um, so if you are curious, because Justice League's coming out, uh, DC's doing a um, collection of those this month. Well, sorry for the hiccup. Uh, um, I had an interruption, but uh, I was able to cut it out. Woohoo! Uh, so next up we have, um, the Batman White Knight variant, number two, right there. I thought it was a cool one, so I snagged that up. Uh, we also have the, um, Harley and Ivy, Meet Betty and Veronica, uh, variant right there. And, of course, the Justice League, uh, metal tie-in variant there for Justice League and for the Justice League Month stuff. And then, uh, finally, we have Superman 34, which is the 800th issue of Superman. So this is the variant cover for that. It's been 800 issues of, of Superman. Awesome. Uh, it's a milestone. The, the issue isn't any bigger. Um, it's regular price, so I, it's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I did also pick up um, a graphic novel today, and that is the Batman Detective Comics Um Rebirth Deluxe Edition um, Book One uh, is out today, so this collects. Um, let's see what this is collect. Uh, this collects uh, the um, Detective Comics nine thirty four and through nine forty nine, so a fair chunk of Detective. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, I just I was super super stoked that that's uh, being done in the oversized hardcovers. All right. Uh, let's see what else did we got going on the read list. So these are my these are the titles I read to stay current and caught up on things. Um, but uh, first up we have uh, all new Guardians of the Galaxy number one forty six. Uh, wonderful lenticular cover there that looks much better on video than it does in person. Um, I couldn't finish the issue. It was that bad. Next up we have uh, Captain America number. 695. Uh, this starts the Mark Wade um, story arc for Cap. Read it. It was a good start. It feels like a kind of re, um, you know, a reboot or you know, kind of a reestablishing of who Captain America is. Um, but I like, I'm, and I'll probably continue to read. But again, I don't necessarily know if it's going to snag people or keep people entertained. Um, and I don't know how long Wade's writing. And so we'll see. But overall, it's okay. Uh, I do recommend you pick it up if you like Cap. Um, and it's not bad. So, yeah, pick it up either way. Uh, next up is a book that we didn't get in. Or we got shorted all our copies and finally got it in. And that's Maestros number one. Um, I had a chance to read it. I don't need to read issue two. Next up we have Old Man Logan number 30. Uh, this finishes off the, uh, the um, uh, Old Man Logan um, hulks from the future time period where Old Man Logan's from, who've come back. It's good. It's okay. I enjoy it. Um, 
was it uh, Brisson has been doing a, a decent job on Old Man Logan after Lemire. So keep going with it. And finally, on the read list, we have Star Wars Darth Vader number seven. Um, Soul has been doing a good job on these, and I've enjoyed it, so I'm going to keep going with it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this past week <clears throat> end was the uh, Halloween Comic Fest or Comic Fest for Halloween, and so there was a bunch of free uh, Halloween type comics at your local comic stores. Hopefully, we're able to go down and, and grab those um you shouldn't despair too much most of the time those shops will have those still after halloween so uh, if you haven't had, if you didn't get a chance go down to your local shop and see if they have any still available for you to pick up um a bunch of other freebies we got were um from warner brothers and uh the first one is a justice league plastic cup um so i snagged two of them because you know that's what I do. Um, and we also got, I also grabbed a Justice League little, like, exercise bag thing. I don't know what, what these are, what these entail. Uh, they came with a little Justice League bag, which inside of it had these little Justice League, like, face, half face things, masks. Um, I guess also had a, a spear so I could act like I'm Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman. What else we got in here? Uh, oh, Flash. I guess I guess I gotta put it down here for that one to work. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, yep. Look, hope, 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 people, hope. Yeah, I don't know what these specifically are for, but uh, okay, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. And of course, there's the Wonder Woman one, so I wanted to have a a hat. Uh, no, doesn't look like a Batman one, which is kind of weird um, but that's okay um yep pretty much it um they did have stranger things two little things um which i snagged up and i've already binge watched it in episode or season two was amazing so uh if you haven't had a chance to watch stranger things i highly recommend it it's good good stuff um so yeah so bunch of stuff freebie stuff at your uh, local shop uh if they got this stuff check ask if they got it if they didn't oh well but uh yeah Tons and tons of, of fun stuff. So uh, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, yeah, I'm going to be watching Thor Ragnarok, uh, Ragnarok um, tomorrow at seven. Uh, I have a very busy day tomorrow, uh, so um, yeah. But I'm, I'm I don't know how I feel about it. The the trailers seem to show us that they've upped the humor aspect of things, uh, much like Guardians 2, and I wasn't really impressed with all of Guardians 2's upping of the humor, so we'll see if Thor is good. Um, fingers, are, fingers are crossed. Fingers are crossed. It, it's been well-received and well-reviewed so far, it, so maybe? We'll see. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's pretty much it. You can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. Uh, you can also listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. Uh, we didn't actually record an episode this week. Um, we will be back to recording next week. We will be talking about Thor and also some more legacy titles. Um, there will be a link in the description below where you can go to check out other episodes. So feel free. Um, and uh, if you want, you can help us out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting and getting food and getting product. And we do appreciate everything that our Patreon backers do for us. Um, and also, uh, there are uh, other things that Patreon backers get uh, first crack at that most people don't. So check those out. I know Bryce did record a Bryce briefly, which was not brief at all. And uh, so you can go on Patreon and check it out there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. I am, I don't know, I'm, I'm out of it. I need to get food and other stuff and errands and, and get, yeah, it's just way too much. So uh, hopefully everyone had a safe Halloween and I will see you next week.